Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today we will be working on the on, on our quad. We're gonna be doing an oil change on it. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do and how to do it. Let's go inside real quick, get out of this wind, and I'll show you guys the uh, product too. Mm -hmm. The next thing that we're gonna do, now that we got that off, I know we can get to the carb, but first we're going to drain the oil and let that drain out while we get the carburetor out of there. So under our bike to drain the oil, we're gonna use that big hole there and we've got a 17 millimeter socket that fits on there. We're just gonna break it loose and then we will drain this oil now you want to be careful because if you had it running that will be hot and it will burn <laughs> from experience so make sure that it's sat and it's cooled off you don't want this thing to be running and be hot coming out of there it's definitely time for an oil change because our oil is a black so i'm glad that we're doing this get that cleaned up get it all nice and going but now Let's take that off. Now, the bolt that is right in the middle there, that was a 13 millimeter bolt. And taking it out caused a little more to drain. We're just trying to get as much of that oil out as we can. Now we're gonna switch over to the eight millimeter and get those other three out and then we'll change out the filter. Now when you take this out, I'm leaving the top one in, that way I know what's what and where it goes because it does line up in a specific way. There is a spring inside of here that can come loose, so we're going to clean that up. We'll clean up this bolt that goes on the left side, and the smaller one goes on the right side. And then, we can take this filter out, and we'll just like... We want to make sure we know which way it goes. So there's a small hole there, and then there's a big one. The big opening goes inside, so we're just going to set that down right there, right there, and let that keep dripping. Everything looks pretty nice and good in there. We're going to let that finish dripping and get this stuff cleaned up and pull that carb out, and then we'll get ready to close that back up. It's going to be kind of hard to show you, but right there in the center on that piece my finger is on, there is an O-ring. You're going to want to pull that off because you should get a new one in your kit like we have here. And for the oil filter, again I got this at O'Reilly's part number 249049. This is the Wix. Here's our new filter. Before we put that in, we want to go ahead and grab the new small o-ring and stick that guy back inside there this might take me a second but it just goes just like that we'll push it down all the way so there we have it there's the new o-ring installed get our filter set you guys down potentially that might work give it a try push that down make sure that the big end is going on there where that o-ring sits and then we'll push it on ever so slightly and then the last step is to remove this o-ring and put a new one in there as well so Turn you guys around and I'm, I was just using a flathead get in here pop that o-ring out just like that pop that guy out that's out with the old in with the new but first I'm gonna wipe that down get some of that old oil out of there slap that new guy in there just like that, boom. Now, the last step, 
don't forget the spring it goes right there so you put that spring on there and then we're going to put oh I dropped my bolt turn you guys around first we're going to push down our brake again I'm holding the spring and that top bolt oh lost a washer where did the washer come from oh from right outside right out here so I made sure that spring is in there uh, thread this top bolt in just a little bit while holding that still in place I'll grab the right bolt which is the smaller one and start threading it in as well and last but not least we can grab the left one which is the really long one it's gonna go in and we'll start threading that in and then this should all seal up really nice once we get these in there. I like to do them by hand first and then get them, get them hand tight and then finish them off with the wrench. those puppies on. Those should be nice and good. We'll take a rag, wipe this oil off. This is also gonna help us look for leaks later when we get to that point. But before we get too far, don't forget, you have to put that washer goes on there. And then this is the 13, 12 millimeter, I'm sorry. 12, million, 12 millimeter bolt that goes right into the middle. So again, I'm gonna have to read this in. Use my fingers. And then we'll finish it off by tightening it. Just like that. Boom. Oil filter done. It's done draining. So we're going to go ahead and stick the drain plug back up under here. Screw that in. as I can but now I gotta get the socket which that socket again was a 17 millimeter socket we can move our oil pan out of the way Nice. 
All right, so for your oil, what we used is this Quicksilver ATV UTV uh, four stroke oil. It's a 10 weight 40, so 10 W40. And we got this stuff at O'Reilly's too, so they sell it there. Um, actually, I think we got this one at AutoZone, but O'Reilly sells it as well. I didn't know that, so I went ahead and bought this from AutoZone. Um, also, you could probably get it at any local ATV, UTV, motorcycle shop um, in your area but for the quad for the LTZ 250 it needs it needed 2200 milliliters so if you look let's see if I can get a little more light on it on the side it'll show you ounces and milliliters and it'll tell you how much is in there so you, you're gonna need four of these <laughs> just go ahead and get four four quarts um, to have a spare and have extra that's what we went ahead and did and it worked out great so then we just we just filled it up and I suggest that you fill it up one bottle at a time and check it I believe that it only takes three but we we went ahead and we bought four um, just so that we have some spare in case we need it. I like to do that in case things burn the oil, then I'll, then I'll at least have extra at home and I can put it in there, add to it. So three bottles, three quarts of oil and you guys will be good to go. That air filter too, I'll have those description, uh, in my description below the amounts, quantities and part numbers because you can get them at O'Reilly's. So I think that's awesome. And I was really happy about that. So now the quad has fresh oil, it's got the fresh filter. Soon we will be replacing the carburetor and get it running and up to par too. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped you smash that thumbs up, don't forget to click the red subscribe button. More importantly, we did just start a family YouTube channel, Arctic Vet Family. If you guys are into the family content, head over there, click that red subscribe button, and we'll catch you in the next video. Have a great night. God bless. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got to fix your view. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.